What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I'm going to open up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Big and Collectibles crate for June 2019. So yeah, it's been a while since I've opened up one of these, of course, if you guys don't know about these or whatever, I've opened up uh, quite a few of them, and uh, basically Big and Collectibles, they sent me this, and this is something they make that is kind of like a loot crate in a way for Yu-Gi-Oh!, and it always includes the newest stuff for that month, so of course it's newest stuff that came out in June, of course before the 18th, because, you know, anything after that will be in the next month's crate, too, in case you guys don't know that. But of course, like I said, they sent me this, so I have a link to them down in the description, and... Let's see what's in this one. I, again, it's been a while, so I'm excited to see what we're going to get. I know I've seen a lot of requests to open up some of these again, and they're always fun just because, uh, you know, you, you know you're getting something good. I mean, it's always the stuff for that month, and if you know what's coming out that month, it gives you a pretty good idea what you're going to get. There's also some random stuff, too, because first off, we actually have a mystery pack. It's like a deck box in there. Maybe some packs as well. I'm not sure. We also have some of the Speed Duel packs, Attack from the Deep, so quite a few of those. And then, yeah, this is the one I definitely knew would be in this. It is the Dark Neostorm Special Edition. So these came out pretty recently, and uh, we get two of them. So I hope we have good luck. I don't know. But that is everything from the box. I'm going to keep this. <laughs> Those always come in handy, i got to say. But, yeah, let's open up this mystery pack first. Easier to do it like this than having the camera right in front of me. There. Okay. What do we got here? Well, okay, yeah, it looks like we have some packs. Is that everything? No, okay. But I'll say, I thought there was a few packs. So, we got Extreme Force, Hidden Summoners, Hibernetic Horizon, and then, of course, uh, Deck Box. Which is, is the, was like the 20th anniversary one or something. It's Golden Duelist, I guess, for us. But, yeah, this is a pretty cool looking deck box, too. I'm glad we finally got this, because I love its design. It has all the different Yu-Gi-Oh cards on it. Pretty good quality, as well. The official deck boxes they come out with are a little bit thicker than even, like, the Ultra Pro ones. So, they do hold up. And let's just get to it. We have plenty of packs to open up. Also, be sure to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe for more content. I have a lot of openings on the way, as you guys know. Cause my brain. And a Mirror Force Launcher, that's what we're starting off with. As well as a World Legacy World Crown. I think that's supposed to be pretty good, too. I think that it's like a rare that's uh, sometimes more expensive, I think, than some of the hollows in this set. So, kind of funny. Hidden Summoners. Everything's holographic in this one. Whoa, focus. There we go. Virtual Foregone. Then a Sherinui Samurai. Thunder Dragon. Then a Circle of the Fire Kings. And... Oh, okay, we have one more. Fusion Recycling Plant. And then... Yeah, okay, we have a Gold Sarcophagus. That's our secret rare. One of the better ones, honestly, from this. So, I'll take that. I'll say I miscounted. I thought the secret rare was right after the other one. And now for Extreme Force. Can we get Saryuja before it's reprinted? Let's see. And, aw, well, we got a Mech Knight, though. Uh, Indigo Eclipse. And then also we got a Yellow Star as well. A couple of Mech Knights, then. Eh, not too bad. And uh, I guess we'll go Speed Duel Packs next. You are not guaranteed hollows with these, and there aren't rares in this set either, in case people don't know. It's pretty cool cards, though, in it. Have Umi, Sinister Serpent, Sonic Duck, and Lost Blue Breaker. And of course, too, these packs are way cheaper than normal booster packs. People always get confused by that. Speed Duel packs are really cheap. Like I think it's like a normal a normal price of like a booster pack, you get like four or five of them. So they're pretty cheap. Contract, what else we got? A Warrior Digrepher. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stack those together. We'll separate the hollows. Make it a little bit easier. Imaruka. <laughs> oh man, I thought this was a hollow actually for a second. Sort of dark destruction. I have a hard time getting hollows from uh, these speed dual packs. So we'll see. I hope we. Uh, I want Sonic Bird more than anything, honestly. Legendary Fisherman. Big Wave, Small Wave. Obviously, a lot of water support too, because it's like uh, support for Mako Tsunami, which is pretty cool. Dweller in Depths, and Power of Kirish Kirishin, did I say that? Or, uh, Kaishin, okay. I'll say, just read the card, it's much easier that way instead of coming up with your own name. Why not? Alright, Future Recovery, Slushy, there you go. Another Sword of Destruction. 
All right, come on. Let's at least get one hollow from these. I know I just said they don't really <laughs> work out for me too well, but come on. Oh. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, we actually got a hollow. I thought I saw something. Dust Tornado, which is actually really good in speed duels, by the way. So, yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. And the way you can tell the difference, too, is because they'll say speed duel right there, and then it's actually like a watermark. I, yeah, you can kind of faintly see it right there if I do like that. But, yeah. And you can use these cards in a normal duel. You just can't use, you know, regular Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a speed duel. That's the only thing. So, you can actually use that Dust Tornado, for example, in advanced format, you know, normal Yu-Gi-Oh. You just can't do it the other way around. That way you can't like get a bunch of Link monsters or, or something and use them in speed duels, obviously. Sister Serpent. That one, the Amazonis. And the last pack. Okay. Can we end with the hollow? <laughs> Can I say it like that for this? It's like the only pack, I guess, that we're not guaranteed one. Let's see. And... Yeah, there we go. Okay, we did sort of it with all. I know we're not done with the opening, but it, it still kind of counts, okay, right? <laughs> but yeah, we got Guilford the Lightning. Oh, that looks really cool, too. I forgot he was actually an ultra rare in this. I thought he was like super or something. That looks really cool. Still remember him from the movie. The, um, I guess the original one that we got back in the day. One with Anubis and all that. The Sphinxes. Always thought that was really cool. Fury of Fire and Shooting Razor Dragon. That's two of the promos you can get. Let's see what else. Get like a Dengir suit or something. I think that's like the most expensive card right now in the set. That'd be pretty awesome. Let's see. And, well, we got an Ultra Rare. I'll tell you that. That's a good start. Uh, Valkyrie uh, Erda, I believe is how you say that. Pretty cool. I think I only got like a playset of these two from my case opening. It's kind of a uh, tougher to get ultra rare, but I don't think it's expensive. But still, I'll take it. <laughs> and the Dino Wrestler Synchro. That is still better than going all super rares. Because you never know special editions. Sometimes I have some amazing luck, and other times I'm praying for something above a super rare. So <laughs> that's how it goes for me. Oh, Orcus Crescendo. That's one of the Orcus cards, I guess. You're in danger. <laughs> A lot of trap cards in that one, dang. Alright, last one for this pack. This special edition. Come on, let's get something cool. You got the crawler monster. That one's still pretty decent. And, oh, oh please, is it something? And, I'll take it! <laughs> Another ultra rare, alright. Uh, we have Mermel uh, Bisglacia. Oh, that is awesome. For a second, I thought maybe it was Avramax or something, you know? I'll take that, though. I, that was another one I had kind of weird luck getting from my case. Uh, again, I don't think it's expensive or anything, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> a tougher to get ultra rare, kind of, you know, or it seemed that way for me. And now for the other special edition. Again, I'm just happy we didn't go all supers. So what we have? Did we get the other two promos? Beat Raptor and uh, Magical Ice Fusion. Yeah, <laughs> those are all the different... Uh, Promos you can get. My mind went blank. <laughs> it's the first video of today, so forgive me. I'm working on like, or I'm recording on like uh, four hours of sleep. So yeah, <laughs> that's a that's good, healthy. Oh, oh please, is it? Oh man, I, for a second that was in gear suit, but again, I will take an ultra rare. It is Firewall Exceed Dragon. Ah, uh, that looks cool. I wish this card was a little bit more useful, unfortunately, though. I mean, it is still pretty good with, like, Avermax, because that's, like, really the only cybers besides, like, some of the top of logics you can use with it. But if we had Firewall back, this thing would be even crazier. And it's still a pretty good XC. I, I do love its artwork. And then also, a uh, TG, uh, uh, Halliburton Cannon Assault Mode. It's a long name. Again, I just always feel happy whenever I'm not going all supers. I really was hoping that was Dengirsi, though. <laughs> We still have some chances. We might be able to get one. Uh, Lodge Flame. And then also uh, Philo a Messenger for Hire. Uh, I'm trying to... There we go. And it looks like we're down to our last pack. Okay, what are we going to end with? Can we end with something above a Super Rare? I, I guess I'll go with that. Let's see, because we are guaranteed a Hollow, obviously. Come on, let's get something cool. And... Memories of Hope. Uh, unfortunately not. But we did get the, the Link Monster for the Destiny Heroes. Extra Hero Cross Crusader. 
that's actually really good. I think that's actually more than most of the super rares from the set. So that is a really good rare to pick up as well. And Destiny Heroes got a lot better when that card came out, too. They're actually pretty competitive, a lot of fun to play. I'm, I'm just saying, try them out if you haven't already. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, did pretty good. I'm happy with it for sure. I mean, we got a couple of holes from Speed Duel Packs. Again, that's sometimes really tough for me. And then also, we got a few Ultra Rares as well. So, really happy with that. And, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.